You might think that just writing a research question is really simple, but it can be really tricky and you want to get your question exactly right. So this video is going to help you craft your question. And there's a couple steps and the first one is to think about your topic. Now you all have a topic that you've been looking at with all of your articles and so you want to really zero in on that topic. What is it that you're looking at? And then you want to figure out your purpose. What's the purpose? What are you doing this for? And after you have your purpose then you can start thinking about how you're going to craft a question. And this is what you do after you have that. The first thing is you want to begin with a how or a what. That's the, the beauty of a qualitative question. Then you want to use words like discover, generate, explore. Those are the, the typical words in a qualitative question. There are also words that you want to avoid in a question, such as benefit, influence, impact, effect, because these are leading questions. You don't really know what's going to happen until you begin your research, and so you want to keep those types of words out of your question. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, here, here are some good examples of some research questions that you might do. Now, reading, that's a big topic, right? And some of you are looking into reading. And what happens, especially in this course, is that I see big, huge ideas like reading comprehension. Okay, that is a massive undertaking. So what you need to do is chop it down, narrow down these big ideas. So let's say you want to research reading comprehension. Well, you are looking into a research idea of one to two months. So what is something that you can do? Well, take one aspect of reading comprehension. So here's a sample question. Do my students comprehend when they read? So here's the first problem with this question. Number one, it's too big. Number two, it's a yes, no question. Okay, so I could answer that with a yes, my students comprehend when they read and I would be all done with my research. You want to stay away from yes, no questions. You also want to stay away from massive research topics like reading comprehension. All right, here's another go at that same question. How can I get my students to comprehend what they are reading? All right, first we'll, we're still on reading comprehension. It's too big. The second problem with this question is that you can't get your students to do anything. So stay away from phrases like, how can I get my, all right? You're, you're never gonna get anybody to do anything. But the good thing about this question is that it does start with, an how, with a how. And so that's a good thing. You wanna start with a how or a what happens. All right, so here's the final question. How do second graders generate questions when they read? So here we took away the whole reading comprehension big idea and zeroed in on one aspect of reading comprehension, asking questions. The other thing we did was start with how do. So you're really looking into the inquiry part of reading comprehension and just focusing in on one bit of reading comprehension. So this is a great question. The other thing that this does is you can really look at this in a short amount of time. This would be a great short inquiry to do. All right, let's take a look at writing. So this is a sample question for a writing workshop at a large university. Okay, so the question, do international students benefit from writing together in a course designed for them at a large university? All right, there's two things wrong with this question. One, it's a yes, no question, again. The other is the word benefit. So I don't know if the students would benefit, so I really shouldn't have that in this question. Okay, the second attempt, what happened when international graduate students discover the benefits of writing creatively together in a writing workshop? Okay, it starts off really well, but again, it has discovered the benefits. Again, don't know if they'll discover the benefits, so shouldn't have that in the question. Really, the question should just be what happens when international graduate students participate in a writing workshop. It's simple, it's to the point, and there's lots of room for inquiry here. Okay, how about a sample with technology? All right, the question, how does VoiceThread impact learning? Okay, it starts with how, that's good, but it uses the word impact. We don't know that the learning is going to be impacted by using VoiceThread, so you want to stay away from words like impact. 
Instead, this would be a great question. How do my students explore discussion using VoiceThread? Here you kind of throw in what you'll be doing with VoiceThread and also use the word explore, giving the reader sort of a notion that you'll be using VoiceThread as exploration. Okay, so to review, you want to begin your research question with how or what happens. You want to use words like generate, explore, or describe. You want to be general and brief, very to the point, short questions. Don't have a yes or no question, and you want to avoid anything leading with words like impact or benefit or influence. When you go to draft your question, keep in mind that the inquiry that you are doing is very small. It's on a small scale. The data that you will be collecting really should only be done over a period of a month or two. So this is, this is quite small. So I know that you're thinking very broadly now because of your lit review, but the actual research, the data, should be done over a small amount of time.